Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today, we are looking into the history of execution methods in America. From the early days of hanging to the modern use of lethal injection, let's explore how these methods have evolved over time. Let's begin. Hanging has been a method of execution for thousands of years, with evidence of it used dating back to ancient civilizations such as Babylon and Egypt. It was often used as a public display to deter others from committing crimes. There are two main methods of hanging, the short drop and the long drop. The short drop involves the person being suspended just high enough to cause severe pain and slowly suffocate. The long drop calculates the person's weight and height to determine the length of the drop to ensure a quicker and supposedly more humane death. In the early days of America, hanging was the most common method of execution and it was used for a wide range of crimes, including theft, murder, and even witchcraft. Since the invention of firearms, firing squads have been used as a method of execution. They were often employed by military forces to execute soldiers for crimes such as desertion, insubordination, or treason. The method was considered more honorable than the other forms of execution, as it allowed the condemned to face their death with dignity. During the actual shooting, one or more of the rifles may be loaded with blanks so that no single marksman can be certain they fired the fatal shot. At the command of an officer, the firing squad simultaneously fires at the condemned, aiming for the head or heart to ensure a quick and relatively painless death. This is no longer a common method used in America. As technology advanced, so did execution methods. In the late 19th century, the electric chair was introduced as a more humane alternative to hanging. The first execution by electric chair took place in 1890 and it quickly became the preferred method in many states. The electric chair works by sending a powerful electric current through the body, causing rapid unconsciousness and death. The person being executed is strapped to the chair, and electrodes are placed on their head and leg. A series of electrical currents are then applied, with the voltage and duration varying depending on the specific protocol. Over time, the electric chair has become less common as a method of execution. Next is the gas chamber. It was first introduced in the United States in the early 20th century as an alternative to hanging and electrocution. It was believed to be a more humane method of execution as the person being executed would lose consciousness quickly before dying. In a gas chamber execution, the person is placed in a sealed chamber and a lethal gas such as hydrogen cyanide is released into the room. The gas causes unconsciousness followed by death due to lack of oxygen. The gas chamber is most commonly associated with the Holocaust, where millions of innocent people were systematically murdered in Nazi concentration camps. Today, the gas chamber is rarely used as a method of execution. Which brings us to the most common method used, lethal injection. It was first proposed in the late 19th century as a more humane alternative to other execution methods. However, it wasn't used until the 1970s that it was adopted in the United States, with Oklahoma being the first state to implement it. During the lethal injection, the person being executed is strapped to a gurney, and an intravenous line is inserted into their arm. A series of drugs are then administered, typically a sedative, a paralytic agent, and a drug that stops the heart. The process is designed to cause unconsciousness followed by death with minimal pain and suffering. While some states continue to use lethal injection, many states have moved to alternative methods or stopping executions altogether. As technology continues to advance, it's possible that new methods will emerge in the future. This video is meant to describe the different types of executions used in America. Despite the evolution of these methods, the death penalty remains a controversial topic. We hope you found this topic both informative and thought-provoking. If so, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.